All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to Your Deck. Live, a show right by Your Deck, live on stream. And this is a part two of a double dip. That means that I've already played this deck through an entire episode of Your Deck Live. And of course, at the end of every Your Deck Live episode, I tweak the deck to what I think is an optimal build. And in a double dip, we then play that deck. So we just do it all over again. And this is Nanachi Power's Salt Eye Modern Control deck. Went two and three with the first build, which I actually don't have uh, up right now, which I can put up for y'all. Uh, and we had some problems. Um, the mana base is pretty clunky. Uh, we had only 23 lands with four Field of Ruins. Um, we had a lot of, a lot, of a lot of hard time casting our spells. Uh, you know, triple blue, triple blue. Definitely struggled in the early game. We also we're having curve issues where our cards were just very expensive. So the overall, like, Round the Lock was very good. Thought Scout was very good. Euro was fantastic. So a lot of the things that were happening were very good. We should have to tweak it a little bit. We need to do, do a, little, a little work here. So here's what I've come up with. We have focused much more on Euro with this build of a deck. Um, we are now playing three copies of Euro. We're also playing a lot more lands, 26 lands, not miss our land drops here. We are playing one copy of Field of the Dead, just a nice little secondary wing condition. We're not focused on it, but it is there. Uh, we're also playing a Lumbering Falls and a Creeping Tar Pit, so you have a little extra a little extra oomph from our lands. We also had a lot of problem closing out games with the prior version of a deck. We had four snaps, two two Euros, and one Jace, and that was it. So we, we had a lot of games we just not, did not find Euro and just couldn't close the game out. So now we have more Euros. We're going to find them more effectively with cards like Factor Fiction. Really, really cool, obviously. We can put the Euro in the graveyard and so on and so forth. So we got that. We have Growth Spiral here to kind of push us along, as well as some more early interaction with our, our Mana Leak and our two Spell Snares. Um, we've cut back on Snapcaster Mages. We cut the Archimages Charms completely. So we've just l lowered a lot of the clunk factor. Still have a couple, a couple Cryptics. Kept the Tamiyo. Tamiyo plays phenomenally with the Euro. It's a nice late game Planeswalker for us. And then um, we had a tracker and a click too. Just a couple extra win conditions. And both are very good in a control shell. Click especially. A tracker is very good with the uh, growth spiral euro part of a deck. And both are also graveyard free win conditions. So if our opponent has some sort of graveyard hate, we don't got to worry about that too. Drama Lock's still here. Drama Lock was great. We went down on Assassin's Trophies as well. So not sure about everything here. Um, do we want four growth spiral? I'm not really sure. Is cutting a drama lock okay? I'm not sure. We want another mana leak. Not really sure, but this is what where I where we get to. This is you know, this is it, and we would go on from here, obviously. And at the end of this one, we're going to tune it again if we feel like we reach more conclusions. Sideboard mostly the same. We had, we did did add two Nile spell bombs, cut some of the cute one ofs. Um, we got some Aether Gusts, added a Mystical Dispute, obviously Dispute, Veil of Summer, all great Plague Engineer, Brutality, Ashiok, one Explosives, all pretty standard stuff. So. Still have the two Mystic Sanctuaries. Uh, got a few more basic lands in here to go with the Creature Lands. And uh, down to two Field of Ruins. We want Field of Ruin. We want to have access to it. But can't too force too many. Force too many. So let's go. Double dip. Part two. Let's get, get the right deck list on here, though. Don't want to play the old version. That would be uh, not so good. Remember, folks, very exciting stuff here. My shirt is out. Coalesce Apparel. That's right, Coalesce Apparel and Design makes awesome magic shirts, and they've made me a shirt. And if you don't love a shirt, you're dumb, basically. The design's awesome. Of course, it is a homage to Goblin Pile Driver and the New York Rangers, two of my favorite things, Goblins and Hockey. And uh, you want your shirt, go get it. Coalesceapparel.shop. And uh, if you want... If you're a baller and you really want to go for it, you can customize the shirt too. It is expensive, all right? The shirt base price is 25 minus 10% with my promo code. Uh, the custom shirt's 50. It's not cheap to make custom shirts, all right? But the option is there if you want to ball out, have your name on the back. If I see you at an event with my shirt on and your Twitch name on the back, you're getting a high five and a token, all right? So that's awesome. Would Godwins actually play hockey? I would love to test that theory. So check it out, and of course they have tons of other fantastic products, and most importantly the quality is super high. Uh, really comfortable shirts, very quality material, uh, 
just really comfortable. Love them. So check it out, Colas Merlot Shop, and of course buy their other shirts as well too because they're great. Good stuff. Colas Merlot Shop. And also CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, the first source for your game shopping needs. Go buy your uh, your Tamios, your Tyler Strikers, your Drown Locks, all right? Promo code Jim5, 5%, 5 off your order. Also, free content every single day. We're just waiting for, waiting for a match. What else are we doing? What, are we, what else are we doing right now, you know? So, free content every single day. No paywall. I do a video Monday. I do an article Friday, all right? And, uh, yeah, that's all yours on CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. Yesterday's video is all about Bant Snowblade in modern and uh i did pretty good check it out coolstuffinc.com so yes it's a little pricey for the custom for the custom uh shirt but it's pretty freaking sweet so let's go one the die roll and right off the bat we got factor fiction i could not be happier let's keep and uh hmm I see you at an event with it, without it. Can I get a high five and a token anyway? Yeah, but it won't be as emphatic, you know? All right. Uh, we're just going to play Delta and say go. I'll probably fetch up a Fatal Push with no more Astrolabe in our deck. It's funny because the Astrolabes, while when you draw them, they fix your mana, they actually make your mana worse when you don't draw them because you have more basics and you're kind of forced to fetch Snowlands. Birds of Paradise. Okay. So pretty easy uh, push here. We're gonna, we're gonna do it on our turn though, not to, not take damage. I don't think. All right. Thought scour. That's pretty cool actually. All right, so we'll shock. Sure. You got me. We're shocking. Jocko says, if I can't support you with donations or subs, I'd like to support you with watching ads while while waiting for games. Love it. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out so much. If you just like the video, sub the channel, and leave a comment. It's free. It takes 10 seconds to do. All right? And it's a huge help to me with the algorithms and stuff. So that's a free way to support me as well. Appreciate it. End step thought scour. Looking like a Ponza deck here or something like that, which is honestly not great for us, but we have some fours in our hand. So Stone Rain next turn be pretty gross. Vash the bits, thank you so much. I know alerts aren't working right now. We're currently running on duct tape and bubblegum until I move. I'll be moving in about that was a great draw. I'll be moving in about two months now. That's our closing date. So until then, life is chaos. But we're gonna get there. It's gonna be sweet. Vash, six month resub, welcome back, thanks so much. Alright, you know cards good against Ponza. Euro. Euro, Misty, love it. Your turn. Stone Rain me. Do it. RJ, resub, 18 months. Thank you so much, my friends. I really appreciate all your support. And honestly, I say this in the bottom of my heart. You all bought me a house, basically. You know, your support makes what I do possible. And because I'm able to do this for a living and make a decent amount of money doing it, and Nicole and I, you know, you help support my family. And we were able to buy a house. It's a nice house. And Really can't wait. So thank you so much. The closing date on a South Carolina house is the end of the month, uh, the 31st. And the closing date on the house we're purchasing up here is May 15th. So, <laughs> unfortunately, Watsi is actually not playing my mortgage, despite popular uh, opinion. Cloithus, God of Destiny. Well, that would be good if they can get my Euro, but they can't get my Euro. I got two Euros anyway. So, sweet. The Pile Drivers, that's your new name, subs, like it or not. Alright, we're gonna get a breeding pool here. Let's cast this Euro and get this train rolling, please. What does the average detached home go for in North Carolina? What's a detached home? But yeah, once we get all set up, also the uh, the sub notifications gonna be like a little hockey jersey. It's gonna flip over. That's gonna say your name and number in the back, and your number be how long you sub for. It's gonna be cool. All right, so we're gonna euro here. I guess we're gonna play forest. A non condo apart, like an actual house. Oh, so like a, like there's a house. I mean, I have 
I, I can tell you what we're selling our house for, but I don't know what the average house goes for. I have no idea, honestly. All right, so we're going to Euro here. And... Uh, we're going to exile... I guess I don't want to leave lands. That may, lets them ramp. So I don't care about the life at all, so... We have Snapcaster, though, right? So, one, two... doesn't matter. We'll just leave, like... Fatal push, I guess, for Snapcaster. Once Euro's in play, I mean, I don't know how this red, this red green deck beats a uh, a six six. So Misty is a little unnecessary. Just put this in depth. Oh boy, there we go, Olga, with the donation. I did a deck tech for Olga before this league, and. Olga's deck was so cool, I gave him a discount on a Your Deck Live. We're playing this deck at some point in the future. Oval Chase, Daredevil, Graveyard, Desecrated Tomb, crazy stuff. Can't wait to see it. This deck looks really, really fun. Look forward to this in the future. Desecrated Tomb, Oval Chase, Daredevil, Tyrus Tracker. Love it. So they're adding, adding a mana with their Cloithus? Did they add a mana? No, they drained us. A little drain action. A little blood, bit, blood braid elf action. A little pillage action. Pants man, one year resub. <laughs> Love it. Thanks so much, my friend. Appreciate it. Pillage. My forest. So they're a blood moon deck. Be aware of blood moon. That's the that's their saying by doing that. Okay. I mean, the housing's really cheap in South Carolina, so, so that's why we bought the house there initially, obviously. Those are our intentions. Uh, okay, so we're going to attack with the Euro here. See what turns up. More Landos. We got lots of lands here. Um, we could just, like, Field of Ruin, Factor Fiction. Just get some basics. You know, just get swamp. I guess our forest is gone. That kind of sucks. So, if they blood moon us, we can't cast green spells anymore. But whatever, I guess. Yeah, sure. Just take up. So again, I'm not really sure they can beat this euro. So we get to cast our first factor fiction too. <laughs> Goodbye, forest. They had a mana. You could also like factor fiction in response to a spell too for when it like gets around the lock. Glory Banger is here. Uh, we are one short of being able to. We can also put the factor fiction back on top of our deck. That's pretty gas. Yes. All right. Uh, I want to leave Field of Ruin up too though. So let's get Island. And yeah, so we'll cast Factor Fiction response. See if we can draw hit, hit a, a drown the lock. God, this is awesome! Oh, this is great. Abrupt decay, thought scour, Delta, force negation, fatal push. Okay. I think we're interested in the, in the fatal push. I don't think scour. Or decay are super interesting for us. I think just being able to uh, field of ruin, a land, get a get a swamp, and push the bloodbraid elf is pretty important. The elf is also two devotion for Cloythus too. So we don't have many ways to actually kill a Glorybringer, which is kind of like a little annoying. But all right, yeah, we're taking a push here. So. Glorybanger resolves. We can also have force a bolt if they have it too now. So the fear is that they they would be able, be, be able to uh, to bolt this and Glorybanger it, but Decay kills Blood Moon. Yeah, but like whatever. Interesting choice. Uh, sure. I mean, we're definitely forcing that. Obviously, it's hard to do it now. Obviously, it makes sense. But so we're gonna force this. 
We could just hard cast it. Um, yeah, it's better. Just hard cast it. We don't need to, don't need to field to ruin our fatal push this turn. We can we can we can live for a turn. So sanctuary back my my factor fiction because mize. And then hard cast force negation on lightning bolts. And let Euro run away with the game. They got two cards left. I hear Zibby awake. He's munching. I hear him. I hear him. Is he chewing? Is he chewing on the... I think he never chews. Like, Burnsy was like a like a buzzsaw. You just put it in front of me, you just couldn't help but chew it. Zibby chews very infrequently. He, he occasionally chews. You can see, obviously, the chewing marks and stuff, but... No, they were planning on attacking with Glurberger and exerting to finish off the Euro. That was their plan. It's their only real way to kill Euro, honestly. So yeah, we have uh, two big kill spells. We have one Maelstrom Pulse and one Assassin's Trophy. We see a lot of cards, though, so... All right, they're coming in, which is fine. 14. Untap. We draw Factor Fiction. Yes. And... I have an interest in main phasing this, because I would like to be able to play extra lands if possible. However, I guess this puts cards in the graveyard, so if we hit a, a good card you walk in the graveyard, they could exile it now. Uh, maybe we don't main phase it, actually. Alright, so it's on tap. Or not, yeah, on tap. Let's attack. We'll probably just say go here. Another factor fiction? Uh, Alright, uh, sure. And we'll just ship the turn. I could cast Tamiyo, but I don't think that really helps us that much. I also don't even know what we would want to name, realistically. And none of the cards in our graveyard are worth getting back, so we'll just say go here. We definitely want to push the Bloodbraid off. That's, that's, that's for sure, so... I'm pretty happy to field, also. Just get enough basic in play so we can get like Island Swamp in play. Then we still cast most of our spells through Blood Moon. So far, deck's looking pretty good. Force Negation is gone. Snap for Surprise Lethal. Uh, we're one short. They already gained some life. Ooh, what's this? Tyler! 3 month resub. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. I love my YouTube viewers. Karn the Great Creator. Okay. It's pretty unexpected. Uh, Alright. I guess we're in an abandoned field of ruin. That's what we got to do something about. Um, so we're going to fop in response. <clears throat> I'm not going to fetch. Because we can just like do this. We can still cast Cryptic, right? Yeah, so we can still cast Cryptic. Alright, let's pop in response. No worries. Spell Snare, Spell Snare, Land, Land, Assassin Trophy. I got the feeling this is going to be a Trophy plus four cards. We actually milled... Now we, we, we actually hit the island and the sanctuary, which is the cards we, we want to have in our deck to fetch, which is really annoying, actually, but... I think Assassin's Trophy on either Glorybringer or Karn is pretty huge, so... I'm not sure what one-mana artifact they could get. All right, so... Goodbye, Spells. They have nothing in their deck they can Spell Snare, so... 
Alright. Um, okay. So we're going to uh, let Karn resolve. Right? Yeah. And we'll see what Karn does to us here. All right, they're going for a card outside the game. What are they looking for? What cost one or two that can really uh, turn the tide here? A graft digger's cage. Okay. Um, I mean, that is annoying, but not insanely relevant. So sure. All right, so let's uh, get ourselves Swamp. And just trophy this thingy. And Fatal Push the other thingy. Pretty cool how Tamio works against this, where I can just return the cards. I can't cast it from the graveyard, but I can return it from the graveyard. So, And Euro's already in play, so... All right, they got a blocker, which is cute, but ultimately irrelevant because we have our stuff. Because I keep mana up for, you know, whatever. We're not, we're not field of ruining, whatever. Buyback Fatal Push. Kill that. Kill you. I'll kill Karn. We'll kill Karn. Field of Ruin, sure. Euro, Euro, Euro. There's no doubt that Euro is a pretty obscene magic card. They're going to remove a Mystic Sanctuary to add a mana? Okay. What well, cost a million mana? Pillage on my island. We do have one island left in our deck, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, this is fine. Blood Moon is not fine. Uh, no, no, no. Not okay. Not okay. Don't be like that. Vado push. Uh... Okay, let's plus on... Uh, oh, Drama Lock. Haven't drawn one of those yet. There are three of them in our deck, so pretty high odds to hit one. Just kidding, lol. Uh, we have Maelstrom Pulse, though. It's not really relevant. Alright, uh, go Euro. Heh! Just missed it. Just missed it. So our growth spirals and euros should come in handy here in this Ponza matchup. We're going to fetch our basics a little more aggressively, obviously, but shouldn't be too hard to do. I think there's also some merit to just, like, boarding a few Tarmogoyfs. Um, I think it's next, like, burn. Or just next where you just want early threat. So that's a common thing. I, I won the I won the New York State Championships in two thousand and maybe seven, playing a mystical teachings control deck that just boarded four Tarmogoyfs. I think Future Sight like just come out maybe. A lot of value in just like bringing in creatures. They don't expect them, you know. Ooh, hello, buddy. How you doing, bud? Good morning. Yes, if you, Euro is not a very good Simic card because Simic as a deck naturally doesn't, doesn't fill its graveyard. But when you have Black into the mix in the control shell, uh, your graveyard gets filled really, really quick. Uh, Euro's the bomb. It's the bomb. All right. 
Uh, Aether Gust, yes. That's really it. Um, we're going to want Force Negation. Stopping Blood Moon is pretty important. We're going to want our threats. Um, spell Snare's got to go. So they have zero twos in our deck, so pretty easy. Uh, anything else on Blood Moon? I mean, uh, Engine Explosives? Not really. Uh, dispute. We're a little soft to, uh, to Glory Banger. Is Disdainful Stroke a possibility? I suppose it's a possibility. It's not great. Uh, Cryptic's a little awkward, but whatever. I think we're fine here. I doubt we're going to get the Field of a Dead, them, but... Looking pretty good so far. Looking pretty good so far. Listen, if nothing else, we cast Factor Fiction twice that game. We've already 5 0 the league. Alright? We've already 5 0 the league. Are we live? Yes. We are live, Corky. Welcome back. I took a short lunch break and I had to get John off the bus, make sure he had a good day in school, which he did. So good for him. Right now, right now he should be doing his homework, emptying the dishwasher, and cleaning his room. If he does all those things, he can play iPad. And I told him if he didn't do all those things, I see him playing iPad, I'm going to sell him into slavery. So, EOT, FOF, YL, you lose. Corky, yes, I gave you a shout out while you were, uh, I'm not here obviously, but Corky, new sub, three months sub, resub, sorry. Welcome back, three months. Appreciate it. Uh, can't keep this one. Can't keep this one. Can we keep this one? Double Thought Scour, Force Negation. Uh... The force helps. And the scours are obviously great. We could scour them if we're feeling frisky. Turn on our drama lock. Let's keep it. Just keep the one ladder. It's a Ponza deck. Whatever. We're good. We're good. This is uh, sure. Wins of teeth. Sure. Trying to build out mono black aggro or vampires pioneer. Are those decks bad as Smuggler's Copter? I mean, both those decks have done very well. Corky, you can find lists for both of them. Forest, Utopia Sprawl. And another Thought Scour. Alright. Alright. But yeah, Model by Gagor is definitely still good. Arbor Elf? Sure. Ooh, wow. No Landos. That's risky. Um, given that we have Force for Blood Moon, I'm just going to fetch a duel, I think. And I think I'm going to Thought Scour them, just to make sure my Drown the Lock is on. Hopefully mill two lands, make them, make them salt off. Cloythus, Stomping Ground, and Draw Land. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're cooking now. What a smart, intelligent, well-rounded, dashingly good-looking keep we made. Well, here it comes. I got four mana. What are they going to do with it? Oh, I got five mana. Blood Moon. All right, so we are going to... Uh, we could drown the lock this, or we could just force it and double Thought Scour. Drown the lock to kill the Arbor Elf. Why, why did I kill the Arbor Elf? What the hell was I thinking? That was dumb. Uh, all right, we're going to force it so we can kill the Arbor Elf. I don't know why I didn't kill the Arbor Elf. That was really dumb. Uh, okay, so we'll shoot the Vendelian click, I think. Killing Arbor Elf is like double stone rain. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's not kill Arbor Elf. Change of plans. They have three cards left and they are not lands. Uh, there's some thought towards scouring them. So Drown the Lock is guaranteed to counter something. We're going to do that. Double Utopia Sprawl. Tilt. And we're going to fetch, I guess, an Islands. 
And let's get ourself. Breeding pool. Okay. So, this is all good things. Wish I had that fetch back to get a swamp, but... We've got three spells in hand. We get to drown the lock one of them. I guess we're just playing Breeding Pool here. We can Sanctuary, ba sanctuary back a Factor Fiction, too. God, it's so awesome. All right. Just, I guess... Nah, because if, if it was a Blood Moon, we have to counter anyway. Like, not fetching for Island here is like a little sketch, but... We have the Forest and the... Yeah, I mean, we don't have to, we don't have to Forest anyway, so... I think I should probably bring the explosives in. Explosives on one seems pretty good against them. Alright, here it comes. Arbor Elf. Arbor Elf. Karn, the Great Creator. Yeah, if they have Blood Moon here, we're probably in trouble, but I can't let this resolve, so. Oh, thank God it's Kitchen Finks. Whew. Oh, man. Just just terrified for a second there. Just living in, in absolute agony. Uh, Alright, so... Let's, um... Put Factor Fiction on top of our deck. Get this Euro going. Get an Island. Right? I could put the... No, you can't cast the Force yet. We're one land short of casting Force. No, we can't field. We would love to field if we could, but we can't. I guess we could drown the lock. Oh, that's great, actually. I'm being dumb. Let's just go... Um, yeah, we gotta fetch. We can't... That's fine, though. Sanctuary back Drown the Lock. Like, Drown the Lock's been really, really good. The fourth copy might be necessary. And then Euro. Draw Drown the Lock. Put in Misty Rainforest. I'm just fetch an island now, just a little safety island. And next turn, we Euro. The thing, the thing about Euro is that you really want to be able to double spell with it. And having cheap spells like this makes that possible. Alright. Blood Parade Elf's a little scary. Lightning Bolt, not scary at all. Not scary at all. So, being able to play with extra land as, you know, as your fifth land and have a Doomana Interactive spell up is awesome. And the previous deck was missing that a lot. Too much of our interaction was too hard to cast. It was blue, blue, blue or Crypto Command, or whatever, and it was just very, very hard to get going. So now we're going to untap with Euro, with Drown the Lock, back up. Very nice. Green, green, blue, blue. And we'll ship off land, 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 scour. Daddy's home. That's a lot of euros. You've got two cards in hand. And we are snap blocking. So we got plenty more euros where that came from, so. Oh yeah. You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Davis. How's it going? This is a Your Deck Live show. I play Your Deck Live on stream. This is a double dip. This is the my version, uh, updated version of N N N I can't say it. Nanichi Powers Salt Eye Control deck, and so far things are going pretty well. This is our updated version of the deck after playing one league and getting a little experience with it. Goblin King asks, "Do I think Magic should be getting progressively more and more powerful over time?" Uh, no, I think that's mostly a bad thing. Power creep. It's a little unavoidable, but. The goal is to wax and wane different areas, so one gets stronger, one gets worse. 
Glory Bringer. The question is, do we care about Glory Bringer? It's a pretty big swing. I think we do. We're gonna counter this. Wait. It doesn't matter. If they have uh, Veil of Summer, they can just, they can counter it or stop it. So it doesn't really matter. So, Drama Lock. Stomping Ground. A target for my Field of Ruin. Cool. Tire Tracker. My old buddy. Uh, they could double block. I think that's fine. We're going to Tracker Field. That's a Swamp, though. That's awkward. I want to buy Tracker before I attack. That might be Greedy, though. But maybe not. We could Tracker... See what we draw. You know, let's just track our attack. See what happens. Slow cryptic and drown up. So, drew land. Wow, wow. Trial tracker's insane in his deck. That's a black land too. Oh my god. Uh, okay, awesome. The Nachi power. I know how to say it. I just, I just keep. I just stutter on some stuff. You know. All right, so big boy getting in. Don't think there's much value in, in fielding them, honestly. But we'll just get a swamp and crack a clue and evoke Euro, probably. Let's we'll see what we draw. Oh, I have Sanctuary. I'm so stupid. I have Sanctuary. I could have Sanctuary back drown the lock and then drawn it with a clue. That's an oopsie. Okay, didn't really... Haven't had Tracker in play with Sanctuary yet. How do I handle tilting? Uh, get a book called The Mental Game of Poker. Best advice I can give you. The not cheese power. The not cheese power. Uh, we're going to crack a clue. If we crack two clues, then they can't bolt my tracker, which feels pretty nice. Still dies to like Chandra or Glorbringer though. And I'm kind of into the idea of just Euroing again. Let's we'll just do this. Start here. We also haven't actually played a land yet, right? The land was off of the uh, the Euro. Okay, so we draw a Snapcaster Mage. So that can only give us access to Thought Scour. Yeah, just crank off the Euro. Keep the good one. Uh, no land to put in, but Cryptic Command's cool. So say as long as this turn doesn't go horribly badly for us, we're in good shape. Sure. Don't really know what they could get that's like bad for us here with Cryptic in our hand and stuff. Even like Ensnaring Bridge isn't that big of a deal. Hey! <laughs> it does turn off my clues. Which is annoying to say the least, but. What's up, Thunderbird? How's it going, my friend? Welcome. Welcome back. Warm Coil Engine. That's, that's a, a good card, I suppose. Not want to get to untap, though. Not want to get to untap. We're gonna have cryptic snap, draw the lock, all available. Available. Go Euro, Tamio. A little unnecessary here. Um, we ain't trading off tracker, so just act Karn. Hydral Harbor. Yeah, they're just playing like the Monster Pond to deck. It's just like red green mid range with like some Blood Moons. Oh, we chomp here with the Elf. Sure. We just have one million mana. If we had that Field of a Dead, we'd be doing pretty good. So 
So they have a worm coil engine in their hand, and they can get whatever they want off Karn this turn if they want to. So we could like counter tap. I don't think it's necessary though, honestly. Oh, hello. That's a different boom boom. Uh, all right, just counter draw. So I had his worm coil, and they can search with Karn if they want to. And now I have force negation also. Deck's feeling pretty good so far. What do you think, uh, the Nachi's power? What do you think? We look at improved so far? I think this is an improvement. A Graft Digger's Cage. Given that that turns off our Snapcaster Mage, and we have a, we have a, a Snapcaster Mage in our hand, and a Force Negation not doing much, I'm just going to crack with this Field of Ruin and then counter that. Counter tap, play snap, crack clue is lethal. I can't crack a clue because it's a Karn in play. But I, I admit that I'm not looking for lethal right now. I'm just so far ahead that it doesn't matter. Awesome. Another satisfied customer here on Your Deck Live. Love it. Love it. Unsap. Draw. I'm pretty happy with Tamio of his deck. The one Tamio. It's a nice top end threat. Just if we have a lot of mana, we need to play a turn of Tamio. We buy Cryptic Go. That just feels awesome. Maelstrom Pulse. Diam. Uh. All right. Let's attack. I could pulse my own clues. Oh no! It's gonna be sacrifice a clue. Never mind. Why not thought seize? Okay. Uh, I'll explain it in a second. I've gone over that a number of times. Uh, give me one second. Play this. Now you have Drown also. Any unsatisfied customers? Yeah, probably. You can't satisfy everyone, you know? Alright, play this. Whatever, get the thing. Uh... Tamio back drown the lock, so I have just tipped two drowns. Looks like I can kill it then. Ah, just, this, this doesn't matter what we do. Whatever. Oh, bad tap though, bad tap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take it easy, take it easy. I, we're, we're definitely winning this game, so we have plenty of time to win between the games, so. Alright, and I'll explain the thoughts these thing in just a moment. Alright? Don't you worry. I'm just gonna get cryptic, actually. I need to be around the lock, actually. I don't know. Whatever. What are they at? Sixteen. So, Thought Seize in a Salt Eye deck. Played a lot of Salt Eye decks before, and on stream, a lot of them were user submitted, like probably about two years ago. And the biggest point of contention with Salt Eye is that the reason why it doesn't work often is that the the colors want to do different things, right? The primary interactive elements are discard and counter spells. Discard and counter spells don't play very well together. Discard spells are tempo negative plays that trade one for one. So, I thought to use you, I take Kitchen Finks, your card is gone, but you didn't, spend, you didn't spend mana, and I did. And discard spells are usually much better in more proactive decks. I thought to use you, I take your crap, I play a Tarmogoyf, I kill you. Um, counter spells, on the other hand, are tempo positive. So, you cast Inferno Titan, I play Drown the Lock, you tapped your six lands, and I tapped two, and we're going into my turn where I get to untap. So, that's awesome. Counter spells play better in a longer game because the longer the game goes, the more mana you have, and the more you can counter things, and so on and so forth. So, 
they don't play very well together because of that. Um, also, just from a philosophical standpoint, again, discard decks want games to go faster, and counterspell decks want, again, want, a game, want a games to go slower. So blue eye control, counterspell deck wants to play forever. Jund wants to kill you. You know, they're going to thought these you and play a goif and try and kill you somehow before you get to draw out of it. So that's why they don't, they don't play very well together. And this deck is much more focused on instant speed stuff, counter spells, or splashing back for some removal spells, and then drawing the locks really good because it kind of fits both both things. So, um, what are we doing? What are we playing against? I don't know where I have any works. I, I was in the in the zone of just explaining that. Oh god, everything's breaking. Oh, you won already, right. I thought we were sideboarding. That's why I was confused. It, it made sense that I was confused. The match is over. Okay, good. Sorry. I'm like looking to sideboard and I'm like, well, we just played against monsters. We beat we beat them 2-0, right? Let's go. Okay, we're good. Next match. Peace Bow, resub 26 months. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Um the thing is the Thought Season and Drown the Lock are amazing together. I mean, a little bit. And like I think Drown the Lock actually plays well in Jun style decks. If you were to play a Salt Dive deck that was based on discard and sorcery speed things, but still play if you drown the lock, I like that. Um, I think that's a really it's the fact that you can occasionally counter things, but it's also just a, a removal spell is sweet. Uh so Drown the Lock kind of swings both ways. I think Drown the Lock's the, the glue that holds this deck together. Uh, it's possible we should just have four. It's very, very good. But Thoughtseize does not play well with the rest of the deck. I'm also here to play Factor Fiction as much as possible. As much. Yes, and if someone wants to clip that that, that description of why Thoughtseize and stuff, uh, if, if there's a mod here, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, Euro Tracker's insane. So, uh, Lord Dragon, if you're here, any mod, any mods are here right now. If you can clip the uh, the spiel I just gave, I'd really appreciate that. We can put that into a little command, and uh, we can be good to go here. All right, so we are on the play. Our hand's a little awkward because we're playing 26 lands and only have two with multiple land effects. However, we have Force and Euro. We're gonna keep this. Appreciate y'all. Y'all great. Put it on YouTube as a bonus video, maybe, maybe if it's if it's uh, clear and concise enough. How would you all like if I did that? Like little short strategy videos like that, like a little six minute video explaining. Oh god, we're dead. Explaining some concept like that. And say if you wouldn't like it either, because everyone's just like, oh yeah, it's great, just do it. They don't watch it necessarily, so. Uh, okay, well, I would say we are in big trouble. Especially because they're playing Tron. They kept seven cards and didn't have a turn one play. So either they're all Drazi Tron, and we can breathe a sigh of relief, or they're regular Tron, and they just have natural Tron. More scripted. Oh, thank God. Thank God they're playing Matter Shaper and not Karn. Pro tip videos. I think I, I, I want to do it, but Matter Shaper is here. Matter of Shapers here. Please, God, draw land. I'll consider that. It could be a fun thing to do, like, once a week. Just do, like, a one little, like, ten minute. I think that'd be a good thing to run during lunch breaks, actually. That's not a bad idea. Craig and Hatching says, I, I, to be honest, I wouldn't watch them because I do enough on stream. That, that's fair. That's fair. Drew Barry says, as a YouTube viewer, I would not watch that style video. Thank you. I, pre I really appreciate the honest feedback. One of the hardest things to get as a content creator is actual honest feedback. I really appreciate that. I cannot explain how much I appreciate it. So thank you so much. So I'm not sure if it would hit well or not. I don't really know. All right. We're going to Euro here and hopefully draw land, I guess. We're playing a lot of them. Might get Thought Not Seared. Oh, no. All right. That's a punishment for keeping a two lander, you know? All right, so they get to, to, to Thought Not Seer us. They have no graveyard currently. Um, they probably take our push. And we can Thought Scour them and then drown the lock, which is pretty cool, so. 
Uh, Epac says, I watch more on YouTube based on if it's a deck that I play or not, regardless of style. Okay. I have a feedback form, too. I would love for you to fill it out. Really love for you to fill it out. Uh, it's, it's anonymous. Links in chat. The, if you're watching YouTube, the link's in the description. Uh, tell me I suck. Tell me things you hate. Just be as straightforward as possible. The downside is that there is a downside. Um, if people keep seeing videos they don't like on your channel, they'll unsub. That happens, you know? So. Damn it, didn't draw land. All right. Uh, so it's not, it's not free. Also, it's the time to do it too, you know? But I get what you're saying where it's not like a huge cost. Feedback for everything. Twitch, YouTube, if you think I'm ugly, whatever you want. Go nuts. Um, your face is broken. Thanks. All right, so we need to decide what we're going to do here. Um, if they have a Smasher, we're probably just dead. Um, we've missed two land drops now. We Euro again and missed terrible. If we thought Scour them, we can't even drown the lock anything yet. It's pretty bad. If we Euro, we can't cast a spell besides Thought Scour. Feedback is anonymous, yes. I guess we just Euro. Hope to draw land and cast Thoughtscour. Heh! <laughs> well, we drew a land. Definitely drew a land. I recommend asking more pointed questions to get better feedback. That's reasonable. I know Jeff does a like a, a, a quarterly survey. That's for subs only. I think that getting feedback from non subs is really important because your subs already like you, obviously. But um, that's a good that's a good idea. That's a good idea too. I can definitely see doing that. Do I keep data on matches? No. We're far past the point of trying to be like really good at magic anymore. You know, my focus is on content creation, teaching things like that. If it's a deck tech, don't fill out the form. Just donate and put the link in chat. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. Thought not again. Yeah, we're, we're pretty dead here. Uh, we maybe should have mulliganed, honestly. How does Shadow and the Demir Urza decks make counterspells discard work? Well, Shadow decks are not control decks. They're not playing counterspell. They're playing Stubborn Denial. And Stubborn Denial is a card you play when you're trying to kill your opponent. They're more like Delver decks. Um, Thoughtseize can work in a Delver deck because you're proactive. Uh, and then the Urza decks are similar in that they're just very, very... Even though they're a control deck, they're trying to land Urza. They're trying to land Emery. They're trying to set up engines and do things. So they're more proactive than just reactive. Whereas a deck like this is more of a control deck. We're like trying to actually just react to everything. So they just took the, uh, the Thought Scour. Awesome. Well, we drew our Black Source, but we are way, 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 way far from casting anything. Oh, I can cast the, uh, the Euro. I can't cast the Euro either. Can't do anything. Uh, can't do a thing. Snap for spiral. It's all about speed and your plan. What's your plan? This is gross. Click ourself. Yeah, I mean, we can do that. Try and find like a push, I guess. If your opponent's not helping you, Drown can be a little bit of a liability. So maybe three is the correct number. All right, we'll just do it. Force negation is... Is it Force or Drown the Lock? It's got to be Drown the Lock. I mean, Force, I mean... Islands. Off. Off. All right, yeah, so we can Raw Dog a, uh, a Snap and just block... But oh, Snapcaster Mage. Um, it's probably just Swamp. We have the island in our hand already. Snapcaster Mage, I choose you. Wait, for what, boss? Uh, 
Euro is very good. Um, it's very possible that Euro could uh, could turn this around. That's a bad card. Triple power plant. You love to see the trips when you're playing Tron. Three of a kind. Sorceress Spyglass. Uh, that's awful. They can name Euro. That sucks. So, definitely didn't line up very well this game. Um, oh, wait. Is it an alternate cost or is it an ability? Oh, you're right. It is an alternate cost. Well, okay then. Never mind. Life's still good. Is Chalice on one also? Sure. That doesn't matter at all. Okay. So, you're telling me there's a chance. And if we draw a, a fetch land here, we get to make two zombies. Man. Who's poo pooing the fields earlier? Someone was poo pooing field. Who was it? That's awesome. Euro's so freaking good. All right. Fetch land. <laughs> or spell snare. It's fine. They have two cards left. Scavenger Grounds. A little late, friend. A little late. Oh, God. What is this? Well, I guess I'm a dumb dumb for getting rid of Force. If we, sold, if, if we have Force and not Drown the Lock, we win this game. That's brutal. I guess we chose wrong. I mean, I wasn't thinking about their non-creature threats. I was thinking more about, like, Chalice and stuff. I guess we're not, like, actually dead yet, but that's a brutal one. That's a brutal one. I guess if we still draw a fetch land, we can still be in this game. We go to two, fetch to one, and we have multiple blockers. We gotta beat this this Ugin, though. I'm not sure how we do that. Well, I guess that's how we do that, but we're still dead, so. All right. Um, okay. Tough game. Tough game. Quelt says, I found you a good link for making surveys to give you better feedback. I don't use Twitter. Who can I share it with? Um, you can DM me here on, uh, on Twitch. That's fun. If you were a sub, you could be in the Discord. But if you're not a sub, that's fine, dude. You can just send me a, send me a private message here. So sprinkles. All right, so let's uh, let's do some stuff here. What are we gonna want? We actually don't have a ton against them. Uh, I would say we want explosives because it deals with chalice. I mean, if we drew a land, it was insane. If we, if we drew a land, we had a chance to actually win a game. We had no chance to win, you know. So feel was great that game. Opinion on Fieldhead and Modern is too good? No. Not at all. Spell Snare. Only counters Chalice. That's going to go. Plague Engineer. Honestly, a 2-2 Death Toucher really isn't that bad against them. Um, uh, stroke plays. But I think we don't really need that. We have Mental Leak, Push, Drown, Spiral. Force Negation, I think, is necessary. Um, don't want Gust. Don't want Veil. Spell Bomb. Dispute. Yeah, this is all fun. Trophy thought not and draw a card. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know how we're beating the uh, the the Ugin though. So uh, the previous list did not have rejection actually, but rejection's fine. It's bad against Chalice. 
which is not not a good not a good trait to have against them. I'm not really worried too much about the matchup wise. I think we'll be all right. Okara, thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Always a good viewer and always a very helpful viewer. I appreciate it very much. Thanks so much, my friend. All right, so another kind of stinker hand. Um, if we could cast Drown on two, it'd be a little more interesting. I'm sitting along in the sand. The sand just kind of sucks. That's better. I like this. This is good. Keep this. Ship the Overgrown Tomb. Probably. Ship the Grave. Nah, it makes Cryptic harder to cast. It makes Push easier to cast, though. Alright, let's ship the, the Grave. Opponent has also Mulligan to 6. We have a Field of Ruin, which is nice. Not amazing, but nice. Let's turn 1 Tomb. Turn to Island. Spiral. Set up for Field. We get Push for Thought Not Seer and stuff. Yeah, we're, I think Rejection is just too narrow. Because the problem is it's not even good against the Urza decks, which are like the artifact decks of the format. So, alright. Well, if they have a, a Chalice here, it's pretty gross, but... No? Okay. This could be a Tron hand. Could be a Tron hand. Um, I want to keep this fetch land available, I think. That's not bad, but pretty sure we got to field them, so... Yeah, no one drop or two drop. Usually screams natural Tron. And we're going to get... Yeah, probably a Swamp. Let's see if the ability to cast... Uh... That's, I mean, you can't cast Cryptic again, I guess. Alright, we'll just get a, an Island. So we're probably going to play Growth Spiral too, so... Sure. Yeah, that makes more sense. We can still fetch a Black Source if we have to, so... If they play Thought Not Seer, we can still, still uh, kill a Fatal Push. Well, they had it. They had Natural Tron. But we shut him down. Hedges, 23 months. You the bomb. Thanks so much for the resub. Appreciate that. Thank you for all your support. Y'all great. All right. Well, that's a lot of lands. Thoughts cower. Delta. Explosives. All right, it's fine. Um, I might actually have some interest in, th in in clicking them. Honestly, we can't stop what they're doing. So, I would say our update is very good. Uh, this is uh, we're one and zero so far. Uh, we're down a game against Eldrazi Tron, and this is our update to Nanachi's power. Oh, there's, a, there's an S in it. I didn't put the S in the the, the thing on top. I'm sorry, my friend. I didn't realize that. Nanachi's power, Sultai control deck. We added more factor fictions. We couldn't help ourselves. We made the deck a little more Euro focused. Oh my god. Their hand is Ursus Power Plant, Ursus Tower. They have drawn. Scavenger Grounds, Blast Zone, Eldrazi Temple, Car and the Great Creator. So they have five lands in their hand, and whatever card they just drew off of the click. They have Tron, too, which is scary, I suppose, but not a ton we can really do about that. <laughs> Thanks to Nachi's power. Appreciate that. Just watching me with the wrong thing up for... That's like me having a, a thing in my tooth for, for four hours and being like, yep, how's it going? All right, so... God damn it. All right, we're probably dead. They had no spells in their hand. They just drew Ugin the Ineffable and Natural Tron. So, I think we're in trouble. We got two pushes. 
any merit there for clicking myself. I mean, we didn't know their hand was six lands, you know, like... Oh, man. All right. I would say this is not seem like a great matchup for us. Our cards that normally not line up well, like uh, Spell Snare, uh, Drown the Lock, and so on, just like don't line up particularly well here. Aethercrust is good. Yeah, I think attacking their hand is much more important. <sighs> I don't know if it's, a deck I, if it's a deck I hate more than Eldrazi Tron and Magic. I really do hate it. Alright. I like regular Tron. I don't like Eldrazi Tron. Scavenger Grounds also. To the library. Alright, yeah, we're dead. We don't answer Smasher very well either, honestly. Um, Much of the scavenger grounds in play. So yeah, Drown the Lock really, really bad against them. Maybe I should have boarded differently because of that. Um, they just like never put cards in their graveyard. And their stuff's really big usually. So I might have boarded badly that game. But definitely does not seem like we're well prepared for that matchup uh, at all. Which is fine. Which is fine. BBE says, any interest in coaching sessions on Magic Online? Uh, I used to coach Magic back in the day, but I don't really have time for it anymore. Um, I don't like coaching. It's going to be like a one-shot thing. I used to like to, like to have consistent students, but it's time-consuming. And the problem is that streaming is very self-perpetuating. Uh, the more content I create, the, more, uh, the better my content does. So taking time off the stream wasn't really worth it financially for me. I may do it again at some point in the future. I do enjoy doing it. I have a, te I have a teaching background. Um, I think I'm fairly knowledgeable. But I think I was a very good coach, honestly. My, my students all did very well, and they enjoyed the sessions and stuff. But um, it just wasn't really financially worth it. I was charging $100 for three hours. I would need to at least double that, if not more. So I made the deck better in general, much worse against Tron than was expected. I don't know if the old deck beats Tron either, honestly. Like... It just so it's just so slow, you know, um, which is a major issue, like closing speed. So on stream, ah, uh, maybe it it could be a thing. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's really really my niche either. So um, it could be done. That's a thing I might explore in the future once after after we move and things settle down and stuff. But I'm not sure. Punter Ball gets a six. We are on the draw with a Thought Scour, Double Growth Spiral Hand. Alright, we're gonna keep this. We can scour them. No, of course no pressure. You can't pressure me or anything. Pfft. Yes, our closing date is May 15th. Uh, closing date to sell the house in South Carolina is May uh, March 31st. Closing date to buy our house is May 15th. So Hopefully, if all goes good, we'll be moving in two months, and all of this last two years of insanity will be behind us, and we get it crossed out hashtag soon. So I'll be putting a lot of work into the stream once we move. Probably gonna hunt once we move. I'm probably gonna hunker down, and take some time off, um, probably take like, like a month where I'll stream like once a week, and just do my articles. And Nicole and I have to fix the house up. We gotta move all our stuff, and during that time, I'm gonna be rebuilding the stream. Uh, doing all the stuff I've been saying I wanted to do for a long time because I'm also disappointed that I haven't done it yet. All right, so opponent mulligan to five. Uh, we drew a land, which is great. Dreadful Bruise, what's up? I'm a cool dude. Thanks. You're cool too, Dreadful Bruise. Appreciate that. Just play lands, I go. Yes, I look forward to taking down the uh, hashtag soon thing. Nicole and I have been waiting for soon to be now for the last two years. It's actually insane how long we've been waiting to get into this house, get into a house. So, 
We are very much looking forward to it. All right, so they have, like, the nut draw here, basically. This is their best possible opening. Um, we'll see if they have a protection spell also, but... All right, so we're going to scour them. Turn on Drown, draw a card. Force is good. That is very good. Very, very good draw. Um, Handrelent Arbor. So... We're going to play Misty and Say Go, fetch Watery Grave, and we'll either try to interact with Drown the Lock, or we'll just let everything happen and cast Growth Spiral. Rob, we're not done yet, all right? I ain't counting no chickens. I've told Nicole I'm not getting excited till we're literally in the house, already moved in, sleeping our first night there. Because we've been let down quite a bit in the last two years, and I don't like being let down, so. Pwn's got three cards in hand. Three. And they are just going for it. This is bold. I guess this is f fine. Two cards. This is fine, actually. I guess the Nexus can poke us. Let this resolve. This doesn't change anything, so... And they have one card in hand, so the game, this game's, the game's not over, but, like, we're about to blow them out, so. Alrighty, then. So, Watery Grave. I said, Watery Grave. I mean, Become Mens does nothing because we have Force Negation also, so. And Drown is based on mana cost, not size of creature. Drown of a Loch Ness Monster. Old Nessie. Why can't I kill the Regent? Alright, counter this. Ship a Growth Spiral. Life is good. Oh, for Delving. That is true. That is true. I did not consider that. I think it was, like it was making it bigger. Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue. That's an issue. Drown the Lock is certainly not infallible. Abrupt decay. That can't hit Nexus, but it's still very playable. Can killing Hierarch here is actually just pretty good, so I'll just cast Growth Spiral. Oh, well, that's Fatal Push. Well, now we have literal everything, so. I guess we could have waited. They could like scale up the nexus, I guess, but whatever. I should have waited, that was dumb. The old dryad arbor, love to see it. Fortunately, Euro not nearly as good against them, because obviously gaining life is irrelevant, but. Hashtag never punished. Sure. Mystic Sanctuary. That is... That's it. That, that's the statement. Just that is. Not. never mind. It's not on island. Alright, so... We'll play Euro. Try and draw another island. Coral, 44 months. Holy God, Coral. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. You the bomb. All right, we're just playing this. We can, get, we can cast the Euro, whatever. We have push. They get frisky. 
Next thing killing us for a long time. Seriously, the coral, I cannot even begin to uh, let you know how much I appreciate the support. 44 months of supporting my stream is just actually unbelievable. Thank you so much, Coral. You the bomb. Let's give a hand for Coral. 44 months. For 44, that's me. Get some cold cuts. Get some cold cuts. Get some cold cuts. Woo! You have nothing. You've got nothing. All right. And Delta, sure. Euro, sure, sure, sure. Uh, let's get a growth spiral, force, land, scour. I guess decay is worse than drama lock. What round is this? Uh, this is round two. I imagine this lady's going to take at least two more hours if you're looking for a deck deck, so please be aware. Appreciate you asking beforehand. Very smart. Alright, well, I've got Euro. You've got a Dryad Arbor. And a Pendlehaven. I top eight at a Grand Prix with Pendlehaven in the sideboard of my mono green, my mono green, my mono red goblins deck. That's what's up. Oh, round three, round three, sorry. So maybe about, about an hour and a half left. You're currently one and one up a game against Infect. GP Dallas, 2006, 2007, sorry. Yeah, I used it. It was part of, my, part of my sideboard plan. So I was playing Goblins with Chrome Mox and Rite of Flame. And in the grinding matchups, you wanted to board the Rite of Flames out because it wasn't about speed, but I wanted to board a land in and Pendlehaven is insane with Mog War Marshal, which we're trying to block. So, one Pendlehaven in the board. That was the hardest I've ever worked on a deck. I lost the PTQ Finals, and then I top 8 of the Grand Prix for next week. And I punted against Kenji Samara in top 8. I probably should have won. And then I had great matchups in the semis and the finals. So I might have won the GP, but, you know, I didn't. So, Plague Engineer, what an annoying magic card. Come on down. Uh, explosives, Brutality, Brutality. Um, I believe we're cutting anything expensive here. Aether Gust seems fine, kind of. What's up, no? Uh, let's cut Cryptic, Cryptic, Tamio. Spell Snare is not very good. It counters the unblockable one, but that's it. Excuse me. Uh, supply that deck list was from the year 2007. Uh, I could build a similar deck, I suppose, but it's a little bit out of date. I could show it to y'all if you want to see it. I don't saw Mog Monday, but there I am. Lost Kenji. Uh, top eight deck. Let's look at this old. This is old school magic coverage. Old school text coverage. Circa 2007. There it is. 19 lands, 4 Chrome Mox, 4 Barbarian Ring, 4 Ghost Quarter, 4 Rite of Flame. And then when you board against Aggro, you board out 4 Rite of Flame, and you board in the 1 Pendle Haven. It's good stuff. First place, three thousand dollars. Yeah, it was a different time back then. Different time. All right. Uh, anyway, let's cut uh, factor fiction and it's factor fiction. I guess honestly, I don't think card advantage matters at all. Just get one of our threats down and kill them. Good times. Good times. I don't think Peppered Farm was around yet, actually. Pretty sure. I know we're cutting Factor Fiction. I know. I'm sad too. But it just does not seem very good in this matchup. So. We're playing 26 lands. What's the, what's the love of two land growth spiral Euro hands, you know? 
Listen, don't you come into my stream and insult Factor Fiction, all right? It's my favorite magic card of all time. Of all time. We're gonna keep. Plague Engineer is pretty good. <laughs> like, this card's just so good against them. <laughs> Graft Digger's Cage. Sure. Tile Shocker is the best magic card ever printed. Alright. Correct. Back to Fiction is obviously not good in this matchup. Uh, I get my Water Grave, though. I was going to fetch that anyway, so. Tile Shocker is the bomb. It's the best card ever printed. I didn't say Factor Fiction was the best card I've printed. It says my favorite card. I Maybe mean, I just hit them, actually, because they have the Cave of Cage out. I have ways to kill the Cage. But. Also, like, possibly fuels their Commonences or whatever. We don't have we don't have a uh, Drama Lock yet, so. I know. Listen, Sup Lee. I have a horrifying clip, a horrifying clip from our last league where I played Plague Engineer and I named Goblin and it hurt really, really bad. Excellent. Olga, please join the scheduling discord. Uh, and on the forum on the top is a link. That discord is for scheduling specifically. So please join that if you can. Thank you. All right. Uh, gross my go. It's kind of fun how it doesn't turn off Cage either. I mean, uh, how Cage just doesn't turn off Sanctuary or Tamiya. It brought Tamiya out, but... I also detest Plague Engineer. I was playing against Goblins. I was playing against Storm, and they emptied for eight. So it's not nearly as bad as, like, actually killing, you know, a poor Goblin Matron or something, or something with it, but... Alright, that's fine. It's not even... It's, it's not even... Universal, it's one-sided. So I can name human and still play Snapcaster Mage. How gross is that? You know? Okay. Um, pretty sure we're going to play Plague Engineer on human here. And then probably play... Like... Misty, I guess? Sure, let's play a field... Ooh, ooh, never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding. LOL. Lol. I don't think I could play a blue deck in modern. Like a blue control -y deck without playing one explosives. Couldn't do it. Is Blighted Agent a human? That's sweet. But we're, we, this, this is obviously even better. So we're doing this. It's not particularly close. Wow. This card is unreal against them. How do they beat this card? That's unbelievable. Inconceivable. Unbelievable. They don't. Good answer. Good answer. Well, now they play it, and we name, we name human anyway. So... Here's Blighted Agent. We're gonna fetch ourselves a, uh, it's a breeding pool. And play Euro and Plague Engineer. Name Rogue? No, we gotta name Human. All right, so, we can even get back Euro if we want to, but yeah, this is just the Euro Plague Engineer turn. Creeping Fart Pit. Uh, we have three islands. There's no spell I want to recur. So I'm just not going to recur anything, I don't think. I guess Spiral's not bad, right? Maybe we're sure to Euro next turn anyway, so... Whatever, sure. Just put that on top, I guess. 
Concession in five, four, three, two, one. Would Plague Engineer be busted if it was a bear without death touch? Yes. Yes, it would. So don't make Plague Engineer better. It's already an egregiously designed card. We're making three zombies next turn. No damnation. I mean, what do you want it against? You know, like, spot removal is so important. There aren't many, like, go wide decks, you know? And Plague Engineer answers those decks and others, too. So, like, while his damnation is good against humans, so is Plague Engineer. But Plague Engineer is also good against Splated Agent and stuff, so. All right, two and one. Two and one. Let's keep playing here. Let's keep going here. On your deck live, a short play your deck live on stream. The Hex Holder. Total magic storage solution for your next tournament. Holds four double sleep decks. Holds your play mat. Holds your divvy, your pad, your pen. The Hex Holder. Buy one. Thehexholder.com. Promo code GYM10. I'll check out BCW Supplies. Number one source for all your game supply needs. The Elite Two Sleeves. The best sleeves in the market. Not close. You can buy a five pack of the Elite Two Sleeves. Less than $6 a pack of my promo code GYM10. BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. BCWsupplies.com. It will hold two commander decks. You'll have to put them into the, 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 the two slots. Uh, they're currently working on an insert for commander, which will be more more conveniently hold your commander decks. So it will hold two commander decks or four double sleeves constructed decks. Um, and like I said, they are working on a separate insert for commander. So keep an eye on that. It's fine. It's fine, and. It's my tap land. So I go. MBD. I want to say to save the fetch for uh, tracker if we can, but we can, we can decay on two if we have to. It's not going. Why is it going? Hello. It's Iowa's tracker. Deacon's got one, and Deacon says, I trust the hex holder to hold my $6,000 commander deck. I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. All right, so Seer Missions, top, bottom. Off Bloodstained Mire. That's interesting. Bloodstained Mire is the wrench in the plans here. Now, if we play the fetch land, our tracker's worse. I don't think we're actually playing tracker for a while anyways. We're supposed to play the fetch land. I'm going to get right. I mean, I would say Commander's been one of the more popular magic formats for a long time, not just in the last year. They've been trying to put it into more like Magic Fest and stuff, but Commander's one of the more played formats. I don't play Commander personally, but it's cool. That's what what's part of what makes Magic so awesome, is that there are different strokes for different folks. It's kind of like 10 games in one. This Visions goes bottom top. Sure. Uh, just going to hold the Delta. There's no reason to fetch yet. I do not enjoy Commander personally. I actually detest multiplayer games. I've tried once or twice. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. Uh, we'll just pool here. Casting Tracker is like, just folds to Bolt or Push, and I really want to get a clue off of it. Um... I'm just going to play a tap land so I go. Like, I, I, int I intend on playing Commander for Mog Monday at some point, building, like, a, a Goblin Commander deck. That'd be cool. But... All right, so just playing land saying go, which is fine. Thought Scour? Okay. I don't think we're really doing much yet. I don't think we're really doing much yet. Yeah, if I were to play Commander, I'd play one-on-one. -on -one. I just don't like the 
I don't like the the multiplayer aspects of things. People are just too irrational, and it just annoys me. I played one time. I tried to play. It was me and my, my buddy Jay, who was like my pro tour travel buddy back in the day. So we were both going to pro tours all the time. And our two other friends, Mike and Brian, and Mike and Brian were a little more casual than we were, and they wanted to play commander. So we're like, all right, cool. So I built a commander deck out of my cube, and we played. I played a game where it was very obvious that Brian was building up to an unstoppable advantage that I couldn't stop. And I was trying to tell Mike that it's very clear he's going to win the game in two turns. Please do something. Mike was like, nah, attack you. And then we lost in two turns. And it's like, that's not fun to me at all. It doesn't make sense. So then we tried to play a game of Commander where we had no table talk allowed. We were like, you know what? You can't discuss the game. Because like it, that makes it too much about like how, how lawyery you are. So we didn't discuss the game, and I just had to watch in silence as my my people just let let Brian win again, basically. So just not my thing. Just not for me. It's cool. People love it. That's awesome. But just don't like uh, don't like multiplayer stuff. Okay, so we, we 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 spiked the euro. That's just sick. That's our first thought scoured euro yet, and that is awesome. So extra value there is great. Um, Force negation's cool. Would I joke commander more if it was everyone was a mythic pro level player player? Probably not, honestly. Um it just like not really what I'm about, you know, like it just I don't know. I like being optimal and I like just being logical. I scoured Euro when I already had a Euro, sure. But Alright, we're just gonna keep making land drops. Uh they're not playing Storm, I don't think. They have Deltas and Bloodstain Myers, so there's some sort of like Grix is something. And until I know what's going on, I'm kind of content to just do nothing. So. I guess we'll play field. Let's see what's up. They're not playing Storm. They have a Bloodstained Mire in their graveyard. Storm does not play Bloodstained Mire. I don't think they're playing Storm, but maybe they are. Alright, here we go. Okay. Uh, as foretold has been called. Um, I guess we're going to fight over this. So they're probably playing that like Crash of Rhinos deck. It's like, as foretold, Crash for Rhinos, Ancestral Visions, etc., etc. Um, I'm going to assume they have a backup plan for this, obviously. Why fight? We can just decay it. I mean, I guess we can just counter the spell they cast off of it. It's fair. We got to fetch, though. It's kind of annoying. Like, I don't want to force a recall. That's not very good. But yeah, we do have the decay, I guess. All right, yeah. I don't really want to crack this fetch, but sure. This is fine. What's up, King? Crashing footfalls. All right, so we'll fight over this. Um, we could just like decay and bounce the tokens too, honestly. It's like end step, cryptic, bounce token, draw a card. I guess it's the same thing as countering it, right? So, all right, sure. Uh, yeah, all right. Could decay too, though. I'm sorry, folks. I, I, I've been distracted with all this commander talk. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get back into my focus mode. All right, uh, yeah, we're gonna force. They can maybe counter back, but we can beat the, the footfall tokens anyway, and we'll just decay the as foretold. I mean, two four fours is certainly some. okay. Main deck Aether Gust, their own crashing footfalls, things we did not see coming. That's one of them. That's one of them. 
Alright, uh, we'll get a swamp here. Now you can resolve Euro, too. That's pretty dope. Main deck Aether Gust. And Vendillion Click. Well, now that we have Click and Cryptic, I don't think I want to play Euro anymore. So we're just going to play Land and say Go. Uh, we can Field and Cryptic, or we can Click and Field, or... Let's we'll see what happens. So they just drew a Crashing Footfalls they can't do anything with, which is awesome. All right. And we're going to click them and then field them. We could hold field for tracker, I guess. So let's just see the hand is first. Let's start there. Reman my Vendelian click. Well, I guess I tap wrong. God damn it. <sighs> Did not consider remand. All right, sure, whatever. It's fine. Not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Draw land. God damn it. Uh, that's really annoying. All right, say go. Very good draw, but awkward to say the least. Are they playing a Greenland? Dreadhorde Arcanist, adorable. Um, sure, that's fine. You can always kill that with Drama Lock, so. Still want to fire off this click, see what's up. I guess we're not casting Drama Lock, so. I don't think we are. This man is so awkward. So I want to field. I guess I don't want. I'm not, not going to field it. Whatever. I'm not going to field Whatever. I stupidly field up last turn. Opponent's deck's been around for a long time. I played it on stream like a year ago or something. I didn't build it, but I I, I found it all I found it online. Fetching in response to my click. Sure. Are they also playing Factor Fiction? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, Electro Dominance. Cute, cute, cute. Um, okay, so now you get to cast the Footfalls for free. We can counter it, but now we gotta deal with this Arcanist. We can just bounce the Arcanist if we have to, I guess. All right, so that's fine. I, oh, shit, I'm sorry, I can counter the, the Dominance, and then the spell doesn't get cast, and then the thing doesn't live. We're, we're just gonna counter this, then. Is it... The dominance needs to resolve to actually cast the uh, the football. It's not like Cascade or anything. So counter this. Footfall is still stuck in their hand. My click's still alive. I get to see their hand. Their hand is double crashing footfalls, Red Horde Arcanist. Um, I guess we're just taking the Arcanist. Yeah. Um, I mean, I want to deal with this with this Arcanist and then the next one also, so perfect. Okay, now we get to attack, tracker, drown. Like, they have Serum Bitches, Serum Bitches in the graveyard. I don't want them casting that necessarily. Oh, I can't, I'm, I'm like one mana short every turn. I can't tracker and field. Whatever, just play Dragger. Say go. Their hand is Footfalls, card, card. They draw Lightning Bolts. Annoying, but fine. Alright, we're just going to kill this Dreadhorde. 
If they drew exactly as foretold or dominance, so be it, I suppose. Should I just wait on tap? They guess here, but whatever, they guess here, but who cares? I say, I say that they can bolt my, my click too. I have Euro, but I don't have enough mana to cast it yet. Yeah, whatever, I'm just kill a stupid thing. Go ahead. Draw as foretold. See if I care. Another Arcanist. All right. Uh, sure. So their hand is still two footfalls. Swamp Field of Ruin has been really, really awkward. Uh... Maybe just Euro. See if they draw the way to cast the footfalls, we can just tap them and kill them anyway, so. Let's get rid of Spell Snare, Land, Tracker, Drown, Force. Draw Fatal Push. No. Oh, that was a very good draw, though. Marfagar, new follower. Thanks, appreciate that. If you haven't followed, share that follow button, of course. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Please like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Help me out. So, casting Seer Visions, which is fine. Chris, I know. I missed the chain breaking animation, too. Ching, 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 ching. The chains break off and whoosh, comes down. I know. I miss it too. I wish that all this stuff was on Arena. I never had to play Magic Online again for the rest of my life. And I've played Magic Online since like 2003. So, it's one top, one bottom. Block? Wow. They drew a brazen bar? We're countering that. Get out of here. Because the, the brazen bar also blocks my click, so it just killed them, you know? Alright, cool. I imagine this is a pretty good matchup for us. Their deck is pretty pretty finicky. Um when I tried their I tried their deck before and it felt very frustrating because you'd assemble your combo. Like it's your Splinter Twin. You have your your As Foretold, and you have your Crashing Footfalls, and you do it, and you get two four fours, and just lose the game anyway because two four fours isn't good enough, you know. Like so, like and like you you As Foretold, and you recall, and you draw three cards, but you already you spent two cards to get three cards anyway. So you spent three cards and four mana to get or two, and three mana to get the cards. So like, you know. All right, so we're gonna bring in. Uh, Mystical Dispute. Aether Gust is kind of amusing. Uh, Veil of Summer? Uh, brutality. Something like this. Um, I like that Gust can put the 1-3 on top or stop a, a spell. Dispute's good. I don't think they have that many counter spells. I don't, don't want Veil of Summer, I don't think. And then Brutality is just like a discard spell. I don't think I want that either. Let's cut, um... Hmm. Gus hits tokens, too, in a pinch, sure. I would say Spell Snare seems pretty bad. I think it stops the 1-3, I guess. I have Reman, too. I don't know what to cut, honestly. Let's cut Tamio And... Cryptic doesn't seem great. Uh, explosives does kill the the things. That is true. Um, killing the four fours is kind of nice. I don't want to let them get to that point though. And it's not really good against anything else. I guess it kills the one three too. Yeah, it's probably just the clunky cards. Uh, let me go like. I mean, Tracker dies to, like, Bolt, I guess. I guess so does Click. 
Force Pulse. I don't love these pushes. Let's just a push. Let's bring the explosives. And... Let's go the one cryptic. I just don't like cryptic, especially when they're bringing in probably disputes. It's trying to get, get trying to get into a counter war with a cryptic command when they have like disputes and negates and stuff. Hot take click is never good. Get out of town. Get out of town. Vanilla click is insane. Easier like this, what's up, my friend? If you missed the first half of the double dip, uh, the original version of his deck did have astrolabe, but astrolabe doesn't really do anything in the deck. Um, astrolabe is an insane magic card because it what it does at base rate one mana fix your mana is very good but then it gets to do a whole bunch of other stuff that makes it way too good you know you bounce it to fairy and draw a card turns on artifact synergies it's an extra permanent it's always different things extra snow thing um whereas uh in this deck it was literally just fixing and our mana base was almost worse because of it we just couldn't cast our spells it does not seem necessary at all it doesn't synergize very well so no problem easier if you missed the first half of this double dip, it'll be up on my, on my YouTube, alright? Check that out. Point of Mulligan 6, we're going to keep. Our hand's not very good, but... Immold a 6, we have good mana. We can kill the 1-3. Oh! Oof. Rob Banana says, Just ordered my pile driver shirt. Going to wear it to the next Ranger game. Not sure if we'll arrive in then. Love the design. Awesome, Rob. Thanks so much, my friend. Appreciate it. You haven't seen it. Leyline of the Void. So opponent mulligans to four. Five, sorry. Four. Opponent mulligan to six. Mulligan to five. And Leyline of the Void. Which is totally fine. So we don't need our, we don't need our graveyard to win. So. Um, I think I am going to just thought scour the... And I actually don't want to actively thought scour them, which is kind of annoying because it puts cards in the graveyard, so. Yeah. Alright. Right, Astrolab being a permanent for Oko, like all the other things that Astrolab does, none of those really apply to this deck. Which makes it not really worth the slot. Serum visions. Sure. Please go top top. Please, please, please. Oko is basically LOL. Basically. Visions goes top top. <laughs> top top, huh? You want top top? Is that what you want to do? Um, yeah, we can island. I think Blood Moon's also like a not crazy thing for them to have against us, so. Thought Scour you. It was Island Ancestral Visions. Is it bait? Because Ancestral Visions is pretty good. Even just casting that card against us is good. So, Remember when this card was banned in Modern? Raise your hand in chat. Remember when this card was banned in Modern? Let's laugh a little bit. Just laugh for a minute here. Ha! Ha! Ha ha. That's funny. Um, okay. That's a decent amount of uh, fetch lands we have here. Hmm. They have three cards, so... Hopefully they don't have, like... I don't even know what they could have, honestly. I think we're in fine shape here. Spell Snare. Creeping Fart Pit. More or less egregious than Wild Nakato? They're close. They're close. Wild Nakato busted. Alright, well... We aren't drawing many spells, but it's fine. It's whatever. Fetch and stuff. And saying go. Okay, sure. I mean... We have seven cards, they have five, we have more mana than them, which feels pretty good. Eventually we'll uh you know, we'll start tar pitting them, I suppose. All 
Remember Tarmogoyf? Arcanist. So we're going to push this. Snare probably has other targets, and these pushes are just rotting in our hands, so... Our hand's getting pretty good. Tarpet attacks also weaken us to Mystical Dispute, so probably never attacking. We'll start Tracker or Click or something eventually. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's right. When I played this deck, Faithless Looting was legal. Um, yeah. Definitely improves the deck a lot. I kind of want a second Tower Tracker in the board. Tower Tracker is just so good. Three. So we can tar pit with four mana up. Do, 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 do. End step. Electro dominance. Resolves. Cast crashing footfalls. Does not resolve. Malik. That's what I mean. Like, that's their splinter twin. And we stopped it. But even if we didn't, it was two four fours, you know? Snare Dominance? I could, but as foretold, nope. Right? Yeah, nope. Could have went Resolve and just like Explosives too, but... Um, now we're down to four cards. It's time to start tar pitting. Yeah, probably. Where that field of a dead, you know? Where that field of a dead at? Dominance. Okay, so. Could just spell snare here. Um. Sucks we just don't know if it's footfalls or not. If it's footfalls, then we just let it resolve. Alright, we're just gonna spell snare this. Our snares aren't great. And we have push for the 1 3, so like. Tireless tracker. Um, that's an interesting one. Honestly, we could just trophy the. The ley line, and then like turn on our Mystic Sanctuary and stuff, and stuff. But let's just kind of keep battling here. That is very true. You're right, Sunset. You're absolutely right. If they had recall, they would just spend it. So I think that was dumb. We should let it resolve. Good catch. Good catch. It makes a lot of sense. Good deduction. gonna do it like turning on uh, sanctuary is pretty big game so
Ooh, they don't like this. Or do that, sure. So now you have to drown the lock, let me just get it back again, so it feels pretty good. Hello opponent, what's up? Once again folks, you haven't followed, share with that follow button, of course, welcome. Dominance for two, this is fun. Correct, also fun. Good catch, yeah. Good thinking, Sunset, you smart. You smart. Click, sure, love it. Resolves. Let's try that one again. Remand your zero mana spell. Okay. And now I'll just ship the turn. And I might actually just draw step them. I should have we have drown, I guess. Yeah, whatever, it's fun. Sometimes you gotta cycle, you know? You just gotta cycle. See what's up. Yeah, this game's over. They got nothing left, folks. They got nothing left. Click you. Land of the Void, Crashing Footfalls. You can keep those cards, my friend. You can keep them till the end of time. Thought Scour, sure. Target me. Snapcaster Mage, hello. Those cards are the wrong colors. Opponent forgot to put forests and swamps in their deck. I mean, this deck should definitely have one green land in it. It's like not even close. Is this to suspend footfalls? All right. Well, we got lethal next turn and a counter spell in our hand, so that might be it, friends. Moving on to three one here with the rebuild of Nanachi's powers. Saltai control deck. And I'd say our rebuild looks pretty good so far. Do we not run Mystic Sanctuary? I have oh, I hit the wrong button. God damn it. Alright, one more turn. One more turn. That's fine. I'll play, I'll play more. It's fun to play games when you're winning, you know? Oh, hello. Hello. Um let me just counter this. Let's kill the next turn. Scoop lag, three and one. What do y'all think of the rebuild so far? What are y'all thinking? Looking pretty good. We've only, we've only lost two games, both to Eldrazi Tron. Let's go with this final match here. I want to finish strong. It's 4 1. Can we do it? We can do it. Remember, folks, I have a new shirt. Check it out. Pile drivers. If you're a sub, you're a pile driver. That's the idea. That's the motif. A hockey team. A goblin hockey team that likes to beat me up, I suppose. <laughs> Check it out. Pile drivers. That's my shirt. Call us apparel dot shop. Call, call us apparel design. Uh, they sell awesome magic shirts, and they made a shirt for me. I'm very honored to be a, one of the shirts they've made, and I'm floored by the design. I love it. Super, super awesome. Check it out. Call us apparel dot shop. Promo code Jim10. And they also have other awesome shirts as well on there. Tons of fun magic designs across all spectrums. Check it out. Coastparel.shop. Get your pile driver shirt today. Also, if you want to go baller, you can get a custom shirt with a custom name and number on the back. It's a little pricey. Now, the shirt's $25 uh, minus 10% for promo code. The custom one's 50. It's a lot. Custom shirts ain't cheap, all right? But it's a really cool option to have. And if I see you at a tournament with my shirt on and your Twitch name on the back, you get a high five and I'll give you a free goblin token on the spot. All right? Awesome. Let's go. Round five. 
Forest Island Delta Factor Fiction. Keep, 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 keep. Yes, coalesce is Cedric's company. What number would Goblin Welder be? What do you mean? Like the the card Goblin Welder? Oh. Gotta put your number on there. Faf, keep, 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 keep. It's gonna leave us here. It's gonna leave us here. Yes, Cedric has some great people working there. They're doing some big stuff too. They're gonna be moving into some more design stuff. Definitely really, really cool. Very happy to be working Cedric again. Obviously, I left Star City a couple years ago to uh, to write for CoolStuffInc.com, which has been phenomenal. I love Cool Stuff, and I love Evan, all the guys there. I got to tour their offices when I was at uh, at Disney in Orlando, which is super awesome. I had a nice dinner with the owner and uh, owner's wife, and, and Evan, and my you know, and it was really, really cool. And uh, very happy to be working with Cedric again in some capacity, though. So, really, really cool. My favorite art factor fiction, yes. I'd prefer the old border. Um, I just have these for some reason. But that's the art you want for sure. Always old border, always old art. Kind of like Goblin Welder. Break things and make new things. Sweet. What's up, Jimmy? Tamiyo has been good. Yes. Uh, Jace is fine. But I think Tamiyo might just do the job better, honestly, in a deck like this. Point Mulligans to six. Uh, we're snap keeping, so looking forward to that. Tamiyo obviously plays well with uh, with Euro, and then um, just a lot, of, a lot of loyalty. A lot of loyalty. Mystery and Forest, go. You got it. All right. Island, go. Maybe Delta's better, so we can push, but I doubt they're playing a creature. We want to push on turn two that we couldn't spell snare. The original list had one Jace, one Tamiya, but Tamiya's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Oh no, not this deck again. We played against this deck with the older version of a deck, and it sucked for us, but I think we're probably better off now, hopefully. Just weird, like, blue-green Valakit deck. I mean, now we have Click and stuff, too, so I think we'll be alright. We'll be all right. Click seems really good against them, so don't really have any removal. All right. Um, we fetch a just yeah, fetch. fetch a little watery grave action. Got to draw that fourth land for factor fiction. God. Uh, we need to save us for uh for Balakid, I think so. Factor Fiction is live. Cryptic Command is not. That's okay, though. That's okay. Alright, I mean, say go. They could have, like, Growth Spiral or something, which is fine. They're just like a, a Euro Growth Spiral ramp deck with tons of islands and Dryad of Elysian Grove, Prismatic Omen, Balakit. Hell yeah, it's a Factor Fiction. This is match five of a double dip. This is the tenth match of the entire thing. The very, very end. And we went two and three with the first version of a deck. We're currently three and one with my version of a deck. Click, 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 click. Ooh. Got the cryptic out of him. All right, sure. Uh, I think we're going to be main phasing a factor fiction here. I'm not really scared of what they can play this turn. Uh, and resolving factor fiction is where I want to be. Split it. Split it. No worries, danger. It'll, well, it'll all be on YouTube. Missed it, right? How do I feel about Jund in Modern? I lost to it really badly at regionals in the last round playing Bant Snowblade. Kind of sucked. Uh, but, alright, we've already played a land. Uh, I don't think Trophy's very good against them. This is a weird split. I'm thinking of lands. Easy. Fazmaster says, really enjoying your deck live. Where did the idea come from? I used to do a thing called Donation Bonus Leagues back in the day, like three or four years ago. 
which is just this basically. And um, same idea, people submit a deck and I play it. But I always make it a little more con little more controlled and a little more um, clear expectations. So your deck live was born, make it very clear what you get. Um, I had to raise the prices because I just couldn't handle the amount of requests I was getting. So I uh, wanted to make it clear that I was in a tomb deck beforehand and then fix it afterwards and have good things, you know, and make it all clear and stuff. So hence, uh, yeah, that's your deck live. Yeah, I mean, my opponent just resolved Liliana and Ren and Six on turn two and three both games. Our game two, they played a Ren and Six on turn two. Uh, the game ended on turn 20, and they had ultimated Liliana twice, and the Ren and Six never left the battlefield. So I lost. Uh, wasn't fun. All right, just play Harbor and say go. I guess that turns off. Yeah, I'll just play Islands. So we have our, our thingies on. Cryptic. Yeah, this is fine. Certainly ahead. Certainly ahead here. We had some sick rips too in the in the in the game one where like I got down a Jace unmolested, bounced Tarmogoyf. They had Liliana and a Tarmogoyf had nothing. They drew Bolt and killed the Jace. And then I drew like Path and Tarmogoyf. They, they drew Croxa and I drew Vis and I ended up being on the uh, the bad end of it. I agree it shouldn't be like awful, but the Planeswalkers are tough. Double Growth Spiral. All right. So the thing here is they have to get an Omen or a Dry out of the Elysian Grove in play. Or their Valagats don't do anything, so it's not that bad. They have Euro too, obviously, but... Alright, I mean, let's just say go here and untap and... Make it, make, make it some more land drops here. Euro is nice. Uh, pretty happy with that. Let's play Harbor. And Euro. So still have Force and Drown up on their turn. They want to remember remem my Euro? Sure. Do it again next turn. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Not a big deal. I'm in no rush. Why well, both Snow and Non Snow Lands? Because we're playing one copy of Field of the Dead. Just like kind of like a late game win condition be perfect in a game like this. Very low opportunity cost, very high output when it works. They're going to miss the Sanctuary back. Cryptic Command. Sure. They're going to play their own Euro, which is fine. They're going to Mystic Sanctuary. Okay. Targeting what? They're going to do a loop again. The loop doesn't do anything. Get back remand. Sure. So their hand is Cryptic Command. They have remand on top. So we untap and we draw. Would like to have drawn a land there, I'm not gonna lie. Because if I I think it's still fine. Alright, play Delta. Play Euro. Cryptic Command, my Euro counter draw. I mean, sure, whatever. <laughs> Cryptic Command, my Explore. You got it. And we'll just say go. And we have Drown, Force, and Cryptic up. And we have Fatal Push if they want to play a Dry to the Elysian Grove. So it's all good. Prismatic Omen. Can't let that one resolve. Or can we? No, we can't. No, we can't. Um, I 
We know they have at least a remand in their hand. Um, we have a trophy in our graveyard too, honestly. We could just buy back trophy and kill it. We also just field a Valakid if they play that too. I, mean, I don't mind getting a fight here though, because we're trying to untap and play Euro, so... Maybe we just Cryptic, they remand, and we just let it resolve. Um, and we'll also put the trophy on top, too. So, I don't know what we're scared of. They have remand. I guess they can Euro also, which is kind of gross. And I guess sacking our fetch slam, but they have, we have a field of ruin. I'm just, we should do stuff. How we're attempting buying Fact of Fiction back is we're gonna con you know control ourselves a little bit here. It's a counter draw. Let's see what they do. They go for remand on their own omen. I'm going to force a negation the omen. Cryptic Command, Counter Target Spell, Return Mystic Sanctuary to their hand. Okay. So, if I force the Cryptic here, they can remand back the Omen, which is fine. Sure. Don't they have remand in their hand? Interesting. There's your no, They don't have remand in their hand. Oh, they didn't put it on top. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. I thought they did. Eh, whatever. I mean, this game is freaking over, so. Um, let's kill this Valakit and then play Euro and then have Drown the Lockup. I guess this Valakit doesn't matter for returners. They can't do anything anyway because we have the, we have the Drown the Lock, so just cast a Euro. Euro, three, four, pretty nice graveyard, Foff, Force Negation, Cryptic Command, wouldn't mind drawing a land here, ho 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 Oh, is that a land? Woo! Here it comes. Here's the big finish. Watch out now. They're going to cast their own Euro. I have no problem with that. Sure. We get to Fatal Push it on our turn after fielding their Valakit, which feels great. Is that a, it's not random. We put it there. We put it there for a reason. All right. Um, I guess we could get Swamp and just kill this thing now. Sure. Get another Zambi, please. Thoughts, opponent? Thoughts?
they uh, want to like counter vanish something, we can just untap and I guess just trophy it, whatever. Nope, it's dead. All right, untap with the counter spell in our hand. Feeling pretty good. Up, oh, look, that's uh, we only have one Mystic Sanctuary, so it's just some zombies, but. Crank it up. Oh, yeah. You did. Love a little closing power, you know? And we did get a Sanctuary. I don't remember. We'll just crack a special on the and see what happens. I can't remember if we're playing one or two Sanctuary. Opt goes bottom. Does feel somewhat redeeming to uh, to beat the deck we lost to in the previous league, you know? We're playing two, sweet. Even better. Oh, it's Euro again. LOL, don't care. Crack this fetch. Two sanctuaries. Good deck building. Just good deck building, you know. Uh, cryptic command. Make a Zambi. Find each choice field pushes. What's up, Dan? Dan says, need more sanctuaries in your Euro decks like you would get to fetch uh, it and then attack and draw a cryptic and set up counts bound through land repeatedly. That's true. Uh, that's pretty cool, actually. We're playing two. I think two is good. So you have to, like, counter their... S when do you... Like, you want to tap their team, bounce Sanctuary, play Sanctuary, draw it? I think two Sanctuaries is fine. What's this? What's this? More stuff. Sakura Tribe Elder. Alright, I'll we'll just kill them. They're dead, right? 6, 12, 16. Yeah, you're dead. You draw off Euro, so you back. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Up, 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 up. Here it comes. Here it comes. Cryptic Command to counter spells. What is this? What are you doing? And they know we're drawing Cryptic, I guess. Cole's on our way home from work. John's hopefully not burning the house down. He's hopefully completed all his chores and playing his iPad. We'll never know, though. We'll never know. All right, folks. If you want to see your deck live on the stream, all right, and you get these sweet updates... Hop on over. Hold on. I got a counter this. Let me put this full out of their misery, please. Oh, I have stuff in their graveyard. That's tilt. Uh, all right. Whatever. All right. Play on, I guess. I can cover land, right? Whatever. Just keep playing. Fine. Uh, so, um, most of your deck played live on stream. Hop on over to my, my website, jimdavismtg.com. That's right. All my articles are on here, my sponsors, all about me. Fun pictures of me and my family. Look, it's me and my girlfriend. And Nicole. And look, it's me and Patrick Sullivan playing in an Invitational Finals. Or whatever, top eight. And but most importantly, go to, go to I Play Your Deck. Your Deck Live, all information is right here. What do you get, how much it costs, how to do it, how to submit, how to donate. Uh, the queue, logistics, scheduling, it's all on here. JimDavisMTG.com. All right, so they bounce my Euro. I snare everything. I untap a draw cryptic. And I have two counter spells and lethal in two turns. So could have assassin trophy their land if I wanted to like counter back there, but I don't know. Maybe they have like a myst mystical. I don't know. Whatever. Just kill them. Just kill them. All right. It's so a boom boom 
boom. We still have Cryptic and Drown Up. Play Euro. Do some stuff. Purple stuff. Oh, Sunny D. So there you go. All right, not too black. Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. We just can't lose. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Can't stop these Zambies. Can't stop them. So we're gonna Assassin's Trophy. The uh, the Euro when they cast it. And have double counter spell up. Don't see that one going wrong. Zomber, 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 Ma, Up, I will yield it, whatever. I should respond to the triggers, but whatever. Come on, opponent, just die already, please. In your hand, in your hand, Zomber, Zomber. The Assassin's Trophy, then they knew we had. See, a little extra closing power, you know? The previous deck lacked that. Got to be able to close the game out. We got our click, we got our tracker, we got our field of ruin. Got to complement those Euros. Can't, just can't be Euro by itself. Despite Euro being insanely good. Archmage's Charm. Counter target spell. I mean... Counter target spell. Oh, nope. Counter target spell, return target permanent, blah, blah, blah. Game. Blouses. Two fields is too many, I think. I think one is fine. We see a lot of our deck, you know, two fields probably slows you down too much. Um... The metagame needs to be pretty like pretty slow to want that. We already have good long game elements anyway, Mystic Sanctuary and so on and so forth. So just one free Slava deck. And um, it's also cool because we're just playing uh, we're already playing Growth Spiral and Euro. It's not like we're like playing those because we're playing field. We're already playing these. Field's just a bonus. So let's bring in Ashiok. Let's bring in Mystical Dispute. Let's bring in Aether Gust. Let's bring in Disdainful Stroke. Collective Brutality. Bet Jesus, Veil of Summer. A lot of cards. Uh, let's cut some stuff, I guess. Let's cut Fatal Pushes. I guess Tamio. I'm not even throwing with Cryptic Command, honestly. We gotta cut a lot of stuff. Jeez. What are we cutting here? What are we cutting? Spell Snare is pretty bad. They have like Remand and Tri-Builder, it's basically it. And Spirals are all pretty whatever. Um, don't mind cutting Cryptic. I think Cryptic's just not good. They're going to have Veil of Summer and Mystical Disputes. Take those out. I would say we don't want Brutality, actually, in thinking about it. Drown is a little awkward against them. I think it's still good, though. Like... Mana Lake's probably fine, too. Maybe Snare's better than Mana Lake. Scattering a Spiral or whatever is pretty good, actually, so... Is Cutting Tamiyo reasonable? Eh, yeah, seems fine. I'm not really sure, honestly. I'm not totally sure. Explosives? Why? Drown Ashiok is fine. This happened, we little, literally happened four hours ago. We played against this exact deck with Ashiok and Drown. It's fine. You control one, you Ashiok. And they have to put cards in their graveyard. It's going to be fun. Drown versus their Euro is a thing. Maybe want to shave them, but Drown also kills their creatures, which is pretty important too, so... Ever played Salt Out Reclamation? I don't think so, but it doesn't seem particularly great to me. Alright, slightly awkward hand, but 
I think it's still fine. Click is very good. Um, uh, we're going to keep. Valak at the Molten Pinnacle. All right. Force Negation. All right. Let's go. You don't take Ash Yaka there's no Euro in the graveyard. It's very contextual. Very contextual. Gift Loam is like a different deck, I think. That could be a thing. And honestly, like, Growth Spiral, Euro, Loam, Lonely Sandbar could be something really cool. Get out of town. Get out of here with that. Let's go. All right, there's Ashiok, which is fine. It's not the most exciting card of all time, but it's fun. They jam a Dryad here. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Obviously, we can't stop that. We can pull. We can't pulse it, actually. Double Valakit? All right, we're in trouble. Uh... Oh, no. They just go land, land. They just have six damage. That's super awkward. We can't kill it. So we, 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 had to, we had to go Mystic Sanctuary and not a different land. Oh, boy. That's gross. Gross, gross, gross. All right, well, they get a turn to do stuff to me. It's not going to be good stuff. It's not going to be good stuff. So, kind of punch? I mean, I don't know. We couldn't have sequenced our lands better. We didn't obviously know we were drawing Misty, you know? They also drew both their Valakets naturally, which is a little uh, stinky for us. Euro. All right. Uh, pretty sure we got to dispute this. We can't want to make more land drops. Yikes. We're going to ship click. And they're pretty low on resources at this point. We get to Ashiok them, possibly. Yeah, I don't think Click matters anymore. No land? Ooh. Okay. So, they have two cards in their hand that aren't lands. Are we safe to play Ashiok for a turn? They need to, they need to put, they're not even close to casting Euro yet. Oh boy. So getting Ashiok in play is pretty big game. They have a Euro and it stops all their fetch lands. And if they get to untap and kill the Dryad, it's pretty huge. Just killing the Dryad smatter screws them so badly though. I'm gonna kill the Dryad. I think we're getting forest. It's forest or breeding pool. Breeding pool. I don't think we need the extra blue. All right. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. The good news is that they have a euro. They have just cast it too, and they can't play counter spells. So. Ah. Oh, oh, we're good. Never mind. They don't, they don't have mana to cast Euro, so. 
All right. Um, I'm pretty sure we're just casting Ashiok, and they might cryptic it. It does suck they drew the blue source because they didn't have a land last turn. So like they're almost definitely countering my, countering my my Ashiok here, but I don't think there's another option. I don't realistically so. Yeah. Sucks. If we do nothing and they just draw any land, they can just cast Euro, which is kind of a disaster. So I feel like we're priced in there. God damn it. All right. Then we're going to game three here. Got two cards in hand. Oh, but it's not an answer to Euro, so I'd say we're probably dead. No, we're sure we're sure on next game. We're just gonna next game. Save time. Save time. Save time. Awkward. Awkward. Um I mean maybe we should have played our lands differently and just like hope to draw land. Because we we knew our pulse wasn't gonna be live. If we could pulse that turn, I think we were fine. But it's all right. Ah, oh, Aether Gust Dilt. All right. Uh, let's just go again. It's fine. On the play. Yeah, just stay the same. I think we're, I think we're fine. The game just like didn't really work out for us. I don't think. Finish strong. Last match of the league. That's hopefully dinner time because I'm getting hungry. John and I have been playing StarCraft too. It's pretty fun. Yeah, he's learning how to play. and playing some 2v2s versus the computers. We can beat harder. We can't beat very hard yet. He's doing good though. Learning, learning the basic mechanics and stuff. Uh, yeah, sounds tight. I think we're threat dense enough. We, we the initial deck did not have enough threats in it. But we've added enough, I think. So we got spell snare, veil, thought scour, force negation, all pretty awesome stuff. We got our field overgrown tomb's pretty cool. Makes we want the two blue, so ship that. Sleepy Puppy. Hmm. Thought scour myself. Hit a Euro. Did it. Um, Ether Gust. Okay. I was probably wrong. Yeah, I shouldn't have played that because now that not casting Euro is awkward, and I want to save this to field the Valakit. We'll see. Not really in like a huge rush to do things, so Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Yeah, now I feel dumb, so I'd love to be able to uh, play Euro this turn. Oh. Alright. Hello. Yeah, I think that, that was bad. That was a bad land drop. Bad land drop. Bad land drop. Shocking's no big deal. Gotta have your colors. Euro's a very demanding card color wise, so I think we made an error there. 
They put dried on top. All right, so now I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy to just field. I'm just gonna field them, I guess. Just get, get more colors and then just get rid of their stupid thing. So that's fine. Uh, field them and get island or forest. My forest. I think island's fine. Then we have spell snare, force, or veil available. So don't love this, but. Honestly, maybe boarding a field of the dead is actually pretty awesome. I would love a second field of the dead matchups like this. It's just so good to be able to play lands and make zombies. Okay. Um, so you could go for Euro with Veil Summer back up. That's not crazy. That would force them to have Dispute. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Oh, wait, never mind. We're, we're, we're on card short. I'm stupid. It's clearly the end of the stream. Uh, let's say go. Oh, I put the wrong land too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Look at this guy. The nerve on this guy. It doesn't count as graveyard. Plays the wrong land. We're good. We're three and one. We're gonna finish strong here. We're, we're, we're gonna win this game. I promise. I promise. Thought scour myself. Take a little looky loo. What do we got here? Oh my God! We drew factor fiction. Everything has changed. Play Lance, they go. Take two, whatever. Factor Fiction with Spell Snare, Veil of Summer, Force Negation back up. Not all of them at once, but a mixture of them, you know? Feels pretty good. Here comes Tireless Tracker. That's pretty good. We do have Maelstrom Pulse. Um, I kind of want to cast the Factor Fiction in response to this and see what they do. They have fetch land here, it's a pretty big game, but it's factor fiction. Instantly resolves. And now they decide they want to give me trophy, drown, spiral, lands. God, factor fiction is so good. EOT, FOF, you lose. I'm pretty happy with the land pile, honestly. Um, and we are not going to drown the tracker. We'll just kill it. They can have some clues, whatever. I think we're pretty ahead on cards now, so... If we go to kill... If we try and drown the lock this, and they counter back... I guess we have force, too, right? We're so ahead on cards now. Yeah, ship it, whatever. Counter this. Uh, oops. That'll happen pretty fast. Dryad? Love it. Love it. Alright, Valak, it's fine. You want to nug me for three, you got it. Alright, it's fine. They have three cards left. I think we're in phenomenal shape. Oh, that's a good one. So, pulse. Hmm. It's pretty good. All right, we're going to pulse. They have another dryad. It's pretty awkward, actually. So, we can't actually stop a, dry, a second dryad right now, which is like kind of whatever, because we just can't do it, but. Let's pulse this. Come on. Auto tapper, where art thou? Come on, untap the lands for God's sakes. Alright, um, blue. 
green, black, Maelstrom Pulse, Forest, Ashiok. Now they can't fetch either. All right. Well, what you got for me? A prismatic Vista and a, and a passive a turn. Well, that feels pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I like my chances now. Uh, blue, blue, green, green. I guess we're going to play a land first. Play Euro. We're going to hit... Uh, land, 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 Thought Scour, Drown the Lock. Pretty sure we don't defend if they try and counter this because we, uh, yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Fantastic. Wonderful. We're also not going to minus Ashiok. There's no point, obviously, to mill them. What did I mill? I milled a Balakit and two Archmage's Charms. That's pretty sight. Put that in. Now I have an answer to uh, an omen, too. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Did I not promise victory? Did I not promise victory? I'm pretty sure I did. Skirt Tribe Elder. Uh, sure. Can't search. Whatever. Should we put Factor Fiction back on top of our deck? Or just... Or Aether Gust. My Factor Fiction. What kind of question is that? Of course it's Factor Fiction. Get out of here, Jim. What are you talking about? You out of your mind. Mystic Sanctuary Factor Fiction. You saw it here first, folks. I should actually Factor Fiction before I resolve this trigger. One, two, three, four. Oh, damn. <laughs> Raise your hand, Jack, if you're having fun. All right? I'm having a great time. Uh, I already have force. Let's take the field of the dead. Hey, they're choosing to be here, right? They can leave at any point, anytime they want to. I'm going to draw Aether Gust, too. Nice. Fact of Vision is good in this deck. Let me tell you. Shock, make a zombie, your turn. So we've got Force, Gust, Snare, Veil, Decay. Six lands. They can't search their deck. Um... Just gonna keep playing. Play on. Because we have Lumbering Falls too, but whatever. Here it comes. Here it comes. You can't Veil of Summer a Cryptic Command. Just tap Oak to your opponent's control and draw a card. That's fine. You got it. Euro, keep that one. Alright, so I suppose they could, like, uh, attack my Ashiok and then try and kill the a thingy, but not oh, then they can't, never mind. We're good. Sack Tribe Elder. Passive Punked. Play Tribe Elder. I guess we'll go for the kill. Untap. Draw. 
Move to combat. Go get him, buddy. Alright, cryptic command. With two mana up, they can't even use. So sure. Mystical dispute. They fought to the very end. The very, very end. There you go, folks. There it is. The four and one, losing only to Eldrazi Tron. That's a good, that's a good improvement. That's pretty good. Your deck live, a double dip. The Nachi's powers, Salt Eye Control deck. We started with a deck that looked pretty sweet, but it's a little, a little clunky. Had a little, a little clunk problems here and there, a few mana issues and stuff. We gave it a little back rub. We said some nice words in its ear, and uh, and now here we are with a nice four one and uh, a pretty fun looking deck, honestly. Um, everything here played really great. Uh, the growth spirals were awesome. I think I like three drowns. Uh, spell snare was good. Mana leak force. I don't know if I would change anything, honestly, which probably isn't correct. I'm sure it could be improved on a little bit, but. I was pretty happy with everything. Uh, I guess our Tron matchup is a little rough. I'm not sure what we would add to the sideboard to try and improve that. Um, it might just require too much. You might just want to like just let it ride. We probably can't beat like traditional Tron. It's not very popular right now. Eldrazi Tron feels very beatable. We just kind of like just lost. It just happens, obviously. But um, Plague Engineer is good. Our gusts were good. Stroke one dispute. Brutality's fine. Fulminator is pretty hard to cast. Uh, Bell Summer was great. Explosives was great. I suppose Nile's Spell Bomb isn't really necessary. There isn't a ton of graveyard stuff happening right now. So maybe, like, you could just cut the Spell Bombs and play, like... I mean, Ceremonious Rejection is, like, pretty narrow. Um, I don't even know. Also, as I was saying, I wouldn't mind boarding a second Field of the Dead for, uh... So maybe these aren't necessary. There's, like, so few graveyard decks. So you board, like... Not that, like, one rejection is going to swing the match up, but it'll help a little bit. Yeah, I think that, like, just taking a loss is fine. You'll still beat them sometimes, just, you know, because you'll just beat them. But, yeah. And then add a Field of the Dead. Aren't you driving, toots? Stop texting and driving. Come on. You're driving my car. Take care of my car, please. Graph Digger's Cage? Eh. That stops our Euro, stops our Snapcaster Mages. Um, I think Rejection is better than Stroke, or they have a little variety uh, in Counter Spells. Um, like, this can stop Map and O Stone, things like that, too. So, maybe like a slight change there. Um,. Maybe there's a world where you want to. I think three growth spirals is fine. I don't think you want to draw two growth spirals. I think drawing one is good. Honestly, that's sweet. I like it a lot. So, Nanachi. Nanachi. No, no discard. No discard. Um, I believe there's a, a clip for that. Oh, you're home now. That's creepy. I'm calling from inside the house. <laughs> Nanachi's powers. Uh, Nanachi's power. Super cool deck. Hope you enjoyed your Your Deck Live. Um, and this is the double dip. Your Deck Live double dip experience. You see your deck played for. We've been on for over seven hours. So you see your deck played. We get to work on it and make it better and then see how it works. Nana! I love Nana. That's great. I'm calling from inside the house. <laughs> so Do you like scary movies? You are so creepy. Oh, you thought darkness was your ally. We're just doing random movie quotes. We're just, we're just yeah, fire one in, fire one in. Some random movie quote. Do it, we gotta do the voice then. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Your wizard, Harry. <laughs> no. I am your father. That's not true. That's impossible. No. Oh, we're done here? Okay. Um, we are good. Thanks for watching. I want to really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all the subs today and stuff. If you're, uh, if you're a new sub, please join me Discord. If you're watching on YouTube, please take a second. You can support me for free. This great content of me making oh, an free. ass out of myself. 
being Luke Skywalker. You can support it for free. Like the video, leave a comment, sub the channel. All right, YouTube folks, I love you, YouTube folks. And check out the shirt, all right? Check out that shirt. Check out that shirt. Bye, YouTube.